What is up guys, it's your boy Swole. I'm here and back with another World of Warcraft video for In The Warbit Inn and today we have some absolutely massive news when it comes to making gold in The Warbit Inn. These news will heavily impact the market and not just the market but several markets and not just that one item or like a couple of items. The news we have today are absolutely massive and will cause a ripple effect in a lot of markets in The Warbit Inn and could it hurt or improve your gold making depending on how you look at things and what you have been investing into and what you have been selling. So let's talk about them, let's go over to Wowhead to talk about everything happening at the moment both today and this week because this week is going to be it's going to be quite insane. A lot of things will happen, the prices will be all over the place so let's let's just talk about what's happening. First of all we're going to Wowhead for some hot fixes that came in I mean a couple of days ago but they weren't really posted um, until now. So we have a couple of changes here. Now I want to um, direct your attention to Delves. Heavy trunks in a tier 6 Delve now have a chance to grant 1 to 2 reagents, and this used to be 1 only. Heavy trunks in a tier 7 now, on, now has a chance to grant 1 to 3 reagents, and this used to be 1 only as well. And heavy trunks in a tier 8 Delve and above now has a chance to grant 2 to 3 reagents, and this used to be 1 only. So profane tinder boxes for example where you only got one in the past you can now get two to three of them and the thing is you have a more you have two heavy trunks at the end of a delve so if you're super lucky you can get six profane tinder boxes from one single tier 8 delve if you're lucky so you can get two to three reagents in every single heavy trunk and fix an issue where fleeing nightfall in the it, Initiates could fail to count for defeating an enemy group influenced by Sekiro. Now, these three changes right here are going to be absolutely massive for gold making, and not just because of these changes, but it's this in combination with another blue post that came out today, and that is this one right here. So, once again, it's about Delivers again. Fix an issue where brands gathering tools could fail to gather rewards, and you can get profane tinder boxes from brand gathering resources like herbalism and mining veins, and also fishing pools. And now there was a bug where he sometimes didn't gather things. Now that that's been fixed, you will now get more materials back from running Delivers, and the following list of Delivers sourced reagents can now be found in any Delivers heavy trunk. Profane Tinder Box, Viridian Charm Cap, Ringing Deep's Ingot, Gloom Fathom Hide, and Vial of Kaheti Oil. So, suddenly, you don't have to farm, for example, the. Um, in the past, we used to farm a singular delve in Hallowfall, I think it is. It's called Nightfall Sanctum. So, we used to farm a delve located right here, because that one had a chance to give you profane Tinder Boxes from those. Um, well, both from Brand Gathering, but also from the Heavy Trunks. Now, any delve that you are doing has a chance to give you profane Tinder Boxes, and not just that, but every single material. So, every delve can now give you every. Thing. I don't believe there's going to be like one preferred delve. I mean, if anything, it's going to be the one that goes fastest. So find a delve that is super fast to do on tier 8, for example, and then farm that on tier 8. Because now you can get six tinder boxes from one delve if you are incredibly lucky. So this change right here, this one, which makes it so that profane tinder boxes can now drop from any delve, from any heavy trunk in any delve, and that combined with the fact that doing tier 8 can now give you 2 to 3 of them, will heavily increase the supply of uh, tinder boxes. I still believe that if you want to farm tinder boxes, I still think tier 1 Nightfall Sanctum is still going to be the fastest, because we are running those in one and a half minute per delve on tier 1, so even though you let's just say you get 5 times the materials on tier 8, you would have to do the tier 8 in less than 10 minutes or less than 7.5 minutes to be comparable. So I still think farming tier 1 will still be the fastest way to target farm for these items, but the thing is, supply doesn't just come from farmers, it comes from regular people doing regular content, and when it comes to delves, most people are just doing tier 8 right now to fill up their great vault. Now, being able to get profane tinder boxes from these trunks means that those people can also get tinder boxes for themselves, so the supply of tinder boxes will be going up 
quite a lot. Meanwhile, the demand will be going down quite a lot as well, eh? because now instead of people doing tier 8 and never getting tinderboxes, they will now get tinderboxes, which then they will use for enchants. So suddenly, they need way less tinderboxes because they get them just by playing the game eh? and doing their regular content. So in, in this week, you will see a massive increase of supply of tinderboxes and a massive decrease in demand, and I would not be surprised if prices go to the floor. I'm talking 2,000 gold per tinderbox, maybe even less, we'll have to wait and see. And we also have another thing happening this week, which will impact the um, supply and demand of tinderboxes, and any material found in delves, because these two hotfixes that I just talked about, giving you more reagents from these trunks, and making it so that any trunk can contain anything, combined with the fact that this week we have the Delve bonus weekly event. Now, this also includes a quest which gives you one um, item, one item which has item level 597 champion gear, so basically that's normal or looking for raid. Uh, it's like raid item level-ish, so 597 champion gear you can get from this, and you also have a, um, a buff that gives you more stats, like you get more experience, more delvers journey, and more undercoin gains while doing delves. So this week you will see a lot more people doing delves, both tier 1s, tier 2s, all the way to tier 8, probably people will be spamming tier 8 a lot this week on all of their characters. So people have a much bigger incentive to do delves this week, just because of the event alone, and then you have the fact that while they are doing delves for this event, they are also getting more rewards for doing so. This week is going to be insane, Delves are going to be insane, and the ripple effect this will have in the market will be huge. Now, the thing is, I've only been talking about profane tinderboxes so far, but profane tinderboxes are used in crafting a lot of items. Like, for example, you have the oil of Belladar's Grace, a weapon oil, you also have a bunch of enchants where tinderboxes are required, and they will now be going down in price quite significantly as well. So tinderboxes are mainly used in, for example, weapon enchants, which you will now probably see them going down in price quite a lot, because profane tinderboxes was the main expensive reagent in those crafts. You also need a bunch of storm dust, obviously, but profane tinderboxes was the main expensive ingredient in those enchants, and just from yesterday to today, tinderboxes have gone down from 11,000 gold to 7,000 gold, so they've lost about, what, what is that, 33% value? in less than one day, and I'm making this video at 3pm on Wednesday after weekly reset on Europe, which means most people have not even come home from work yet, and I would not be surprised to see this go under 5,000 gold in just a couple of hours. But that is just a prediction by the way, prices could stabilize at 7k, even though I highly doubt that's gonna happen, and I'm just gonna call it, tomorrow it's gonna be 4,000 or less. And we'll see if I'm right or wrong, but like 4,000, 5,000, somewhere in that area, and probably going down even more throughout the week. But we'll have to wait and see, like how many tinder boxes you get, and like yeah, yeah, you have more than just tinder boxes dropping from delves. Like yes, you can get two to three of them from a tier eight, but you can also get unlucky, or quote-unquote unlucky, and get the Gloom Fathom Hide instead, which is pretty much worthless, or the Charm Cap as well, which is also pretty much useless, so it's an RNG of which one you get, but if you get Tinderboxes, once again, you can get 2 to 3 of them by doing a Tier 8, and most people are doing Tier 8. Either way, with these changes, I would be incredibly surprised if the tinderboxes retain their high value and don't go down at all, as I feel like talking about this is absolutely important, and I wanted to give you guys a heads up of what's happening and the ripple effect this could have in the market both today and throughout the entire week, and even like, some of this will be permanent as well. Like, if tinderboxes are dropping a lot, then prices will probably never pick back up. But what we see in the market right now is that prices go down, then up again, then down again, then up again, so it's a constant wave of the price moving both upwards and downwards. But I do believe that tinderboxes will go down in price quite a lot throughout the week, so let me know your thoughts on everything in the comments down below, but that's basically what I have for you today. So if you enjoyed the video, leave a like and let me know your thoughts on everything in the comments, and if you haven't checked it out yet, then check out my War Within gold making guide, the link to that will be down below, and if you want to know more about the guide, then just click the link and read about the guide. You can see a bunch of reviews on that page as well if you want to 
have a third person perspective on if their guide is good or bad. So yeah, just check it out if you haven't yet, you will get access to a private gold making community. If you want to make gold, I believe this guide is a good one to have. And yeah, that's it, that's the video. Like, 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 bye bye.